morning everyone and welcome back to the channel uh, as you can tell I'm sat here letting the digger warm up she's a bit cold I hope you all had a good weekend right she's warm enough now she's been sat here for a little while I've just greased her all up it is Monday morning and we have got plenty of stuff to move still so I just spoke to the client he's happy with what's going on at the minute so yeah it's all good all good I, like I say, I hope you all had a good weekend. Uh, I got to see Dad, he's out of hospital now. For all those that didn't realise he's out, he is out. Um, has been for about a week now. It's been nice having him home, but he still needs to learn. Not to do so much, but there you go, they never do learn. But right, we've still got all of this to move. So I've just spoke to the client, he said he's gonna take the fence out here, and then I'm gonna put the bank round like I suggested on the last video curved around there also beside the gas tanks over the back here he wants me to go further out that way and surround the gas tanks so that they're in like a U and blocked off from everybody else so that is the plan for today so I'll crack on I'll get up there I'll start moving that stuff near the gas tank while he takes the fence down and then we'll come back onto here and pull all this up there so crack on and get it done I'd also like to say one here um, it is phenomenal I'm nearly at the 500 mark. I think I'm like 47 people off 500. Come on, I can only do it with all your help. So I'd like it if you could all please like, share, subscribe. Just to subscribe, please. 500 before Christmas. Be lovely. But right, I'll get up here and um, start moving some material. First things first, try and get up this bank. come down it all right and then realize it's fairly steep so I just want to make her a little bit more shallower so there's less strain on the machine especially first thing Monday morning I hope like I say I hope everybody is enjoying the material um, it's not the most of exciting jobs at the minute. I've got some good jobs coming up though. I've got another couple of ponds to do and bits and pieces. So yeah, I think it might be a demo coming up. Demolition job. Another one. I do like the demolition work. Look there. Bit of rum angle. Come on girl. You can do it. You can do it. Come on girl, you can do it. Come on, yay, we're up. Right, um. We should chuck some material over then. I don't realise, honestly, the camera doesn't do its justice how high this is up here. It is a long way up. So, I've got to try and make it path through here without taking the gas tanks out and without taking the fence out. Be interesting. The banks are going to be fairly steep here because um, we've got to make it fairly wide to be able to get this machine down here so we throw stuff all the way back there. Get a little bit closer to the gas tank soon. The gas tanks are empty before anybody says anything. So I've still got to dress all the banks and that up and tidy everything up. 
in a minute, we're just bulking this out of the way. Now I've got to bring a laser in tomorrow because we've got to start moving the containers and getting them leveled up. He's got two 40 foot containers that he's going to put in line with each other and then have a roof over the top and make it into his workshop. That's what he's got from man. There he goes, he's off eh? Get this um roughly where I want it, as in where I can sit to start throwing stuff over, and then uh, I'll come back to you when it's ready. Right, so as you can see, down near the gas tanks, I'm wrapped around the gas tanks. That's as close as I can get. I was with the gas tanks with the fence. I can't get any closer. Um, that is it. As it is, I've encroached on the neighbours by a foot. Can't help, that's what he wanted. Um, then you come round, and this is the flat flat over here at the top. I've now got some clay that I'm going to lay on the top. I've got a load of topsoil that will go on that. So that, this will be higher. Um, when you look at the, someone down there, you actually get an aspect of how high this is now. Um, we're getting there. So this clay is now going to go on this old topsoil. New topsoil will go on top. But, that's what I've claimed them so far down there. And that'll be that again, because like we said, we're gonna we took the fence down, so we're gonna wrap it around this corner and go along this top and try and square this top off. So bring it up and make a square plateau so we can run a machine along the top. Plug a hedge cutter and then it can keep the bank clean. So that is the plan. All to be done with a digger. There's a lot of stuff to be moved, but can't get anything else up here. So right, we'll um, get yeah, on with laying this clay. And as you'll see, I'll leave a foot on either edge, so I'll be able to dress up with a foot of top soil. So it'll just be a channel through the middle now of this clay. Very, very sticky stuff. Yucky, 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 sticky stuff. This will be going in at a foot deep, pack it in, foot deep, pack it in. That's just how I'll keep doing it. So I get to a point where I can't get rid of any more. No, it's going alright. Lovely play. Roughly where I've just done that bucket there is as far as we're going to go. So we're going to the stage where we just run out of room. So the pad will come up to about here. So that'll be a hell of an area really. Right, we're content please like share subscribe I do need 500 subscribers I don't need I'd like 500 subscribers by Christmas be nice have something good for the year finally I do thank everyone who has subscribed so far thank you very much projects coming up, mate. So yeah, it'll be interesting. What was the first one? I think I've got a pond straight after Christmas to do. Or am I? No, what am I doing? 
yeah, the first week back I've got a pond to do, and then I've got to go back to where I've done the horse track, and I've got a load of woodwork to do, both machines. So hopefully the father will be back. So I need him on the eight tonner. This is what I like doing here, you can see I'm leaving a foot around the outside so the tops all dress up properly. That is the whole reason of that little step down so the tops all can dress up. process now. Just chucking the play up. But right, I'm going to carry on like I say. Get as much laid up here as I can. And um, come back to you when it's all sort of nearly there. When we start dressing up sort of like. Right, got a fair bit dug out already. Um, nearly to where I need to be. I need to be at the front of my tracks is where we're going to stop. As you can see, I'm laying up the bank there as well, so we're just trying to lose it anywhere we can now. I've got to shape this top back up. But slowly but surely we are getting there. There's a lot of material being moved there. A hell of a lot of material. But there. Get paid to move it, so I'm moving. half hour should be finished digging out then I've got the banks all to shape up then I've got the bottom to dig out again which is a bank going up against that fence that's what you want the snail so there'll be a bank up there so what I strip off and go over there um, then put the stone in which is right beside me this stuff so a railway stone good stuff, that'll go down hard. It's got a lot of fine in it and a lot of big stuff, so it'll go down fairly hard. And then this bit will be done. Now I've got to go in between the two containers over the back there and straight back clear. And then, that's, then I think that will be, be the lot for this time, Christmas. He's here, I'll have a look after Christmas and do that other big pad. Just this here will help him out a hell of a lot. Two, meet, two, two and a half metres of stuff at a time. 
Get flies. There's a lot, a lot of stuff here. This is just like doing a big oversight for a building, that's all this is. Strip it off, get rid of it, bang it up. I'm not worried about keeping them too separate. We've got enough topsoil up here to spread over the top. You know, so I ain't got much more to take out. Three shifts, but I don't have any hundreds of tonnes. This dug out, I still got to dig out more because I've got to slope the bank up. Then the stone's got to be moved and a bit of dirt that the stone's lent against has got to come out. It's a gravy. That's the reason I'm digging underneath like this, so it all drops down and mixes up. That's why I'm digging it from underneath, if anybody's wondering. Probably once I'm finished. This is just a, like I say, this is just a quick rough dig out, get the shape I need, and then I'll sort the banks out probably in a little while. Well, there's the last of that top soil.
tomorrow, but by tomorrow this will all be done and dusted. Stone in, banks all dressed up, everything will be done. That's what I'm planning on, that's what I'm hoping. I'll show you what we mean by we're struggling with uh, surface water. Stone. I've got to re dig that ditch to get the water away. I think this is the sort of place where you just got to keep on top of the maintenance. Really, yeah. So if I swing this way, you can see down near the shed how much water is sat down there. Just got to get on top of the water. Get on top of the water, it'll be alright, it'll stay dry. You just gotta keep on top of it. Do you know what? If that's me, I'd fill this top to chin here because that actually isn't doing anything. Do anything at all. So this leveled out roughly like this, get it tracked in, then I'll come back with a ditch and bucket on and scrape off a little bit lower. And then with the topsoil over there, I'll just dress it all up. It doesn't need a huge amount of topsoil on it, it just needs enough to hold grass on there so you can get the root system in to hold this bank up. That's all that needs. straight down, where are the sheep supposed to stand? Park them on an angle. At least like this, they've got a bit of flat to stand on top. And also, I'll help the sheep on here, because they'll be can this down as well. Right, I don't 
I'd like to hit 500 subscribers by Christmas. If I do, brilliant. If I don't, well, we've got next year. But I'd like your help to get to 500. Um, also, like I say, I just hope you enjoy the content. But right, I'm gonna head home. Big thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, and uh, stay safe, and we'll see you on the next one. Adios. <laughs>